In the bustling city of Nanotopia, a can-do attitude floods the streets in the form of the Nano Flash. The Nano Flash maneuver their daily commutes with lightning speed, making their lives carefree and traffic non-existent. All is well on this perfect day in Nanotopia. Is that a Nano playing the organ? Well, that can't be good. Oh my six-sided horror, the zombie nano have returned from space. In the bogs of goo, to a frozen wasteland, in the murky depths, and a haunted forest. This is Planet Hexburg. <laughs> The zombie nano make their way through the formerly peaceful park, turning all bystanders in their path. Not even the trash is safe. These insatiable, insidious creatures have only one desire. To feed. The nano flash run for their lives along the winding tracks of Nanotopia, seemingly evading their undead pursuers. But what the nano zombie lack in speed they make up four in numbers. As the zombie nano close in on the young nano flash, goodness! Yahoo! In a daring rescue, a nano space pilot has intervened, and with any luck, bought the other survivors time to think of a plan. Back at Nano HQ, the nano flash scramble frantically to try and devise a plan to stop the undead hordes. After countless hours of deliberation, the Nano Flash are ready for the final battle between the living and the dead. As the Zombie Nano launch their attack, it is now or never for the Nano Flash. The mystery merry-go-round begins to oscillate, opening a portal. The Zombie Nano, fueled by their hunger for Nano Batteries, dive headfirst at their prey, falling directly into the vortex, launching them into the future. This has been Planet Hexburg. Oh my six-sided horror, the nano that are also zombies have returned from space that is also zombies.